Georgia, a first-year Clemson Tiger is already changing games on the field. But Ray Ray McElrath Bay is making an even bigger impression off campus. And the entire team wants to help. News 4's Gordon Dill reports. Game one, a big win. Clemson is too big, too fast, too much for Florida Atlantic. The Tigers scored so many points, kicked off so often, one player, Ray Ray McElrath Bay, who simply covers kickoffs, made three big tackles. Stopped by Ray Ray McElrath Bay. He got our special teams MVP, made three tackles on special teams. High praise for a redshirt freshman playing his first college game. Running down and just using pure God-given ability to cover a kick and make guys miss, go tackle. You know, those are things right now that don't involve as much concentration and attention to detail. So he's done pretty good. And Ray Ray is already used to getting attention for what he's already tackled. I just take it as it comes because it's, 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 it's the experience. I was hoping to be in this kind of spotlight, but just not for this exactly. At 19 years old, Ray Ray has full custody of his 11-year-old brother, Faymar. He's the sole guardian, for now, the only parent. My mother, my, my mother sent my brother to me because at the time she couldn't take care of him, but we, we put it to him as a visit, a visit to come see me. Just a little guy. Told you it ain't about you. Their mother moved to Atlanta, father in Nevada. The latest chapter in a lifelong struggle. First time I seen my mother do crack, first time I seen my father hit my mother, um, my mother hit me. And there's much more for the brothers to overcome. Because of NCAA rules, the coaches and boosters can't help with money. Ray Ray doesn't own a car, and the coaches can't offer to drive, can't help Famar get to school. In fact, no one is exactly sure just how much anyone can give. Yeah, I've had several players come up to me and want to know if they can take donations up, if they can give money, if they can buy them something, if they can take them here. And I uh, say, so you're really going to have to refer that to our compliance department. So while the rest of the team prepares for the difficult road game at Boston College. As a brother, it was still me first, and as a parent, it's him first. Before I do anything for me, i got to do stuff for him. This may be the real test of God-given ability. I don't even see it as a sad story. It was just, I mean, I'm just taking care of my little brother. One that it won't be too much for a 19-year-old redshirt freshman on a very special team. Gordon Dill, WYFF News 4, Greenville. Clemson is asking the NCAA for a special exemption so people can help Ray Ray. They still haven't gotten a ruling on that. Meanwhile, he's raising his brother on the money he receives from his football scholarship. New information tonight on new information tonight on new information tonight on Clemson University now says its staff can't provide assistance to a freshman football player who is taking care of his little brother. 19-year-old Ray Ray McElrath Bay has temporary custody of his 11-year-old brother, Famar. McElrath Bay says his parents are battling drug and gambling problems. Clemson wanted to provide the brothers with assistance but could not do so until they got NCAA approval. Today, they got permission to provide extra assistance like local transportation and child care for Famar. The two are brothers living solely off McElrath Bay's scholarship. Well, tonight, Bowden Bowl number eight, the always compelling angle of father versus son. It's also brother versus brother. Jeff Bowden calls the place for Florida State against Tommy Bowden's Tigers team. So you're coaching against the guy that you raised from Memphis State, that's one compelling angle. But all across the country today, you've got the angle of players needing to grow up in a hurry in the spotlight here. Well, for one Clemson special team or a freshman who's been the special team's captain off his play in week one, but Ray Ray Mac, uh, McAthor Bay, it's his accomplishments off the field that really make him special. Wendy Nix has the story. Back in zone. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Ah, one in. It's a typical afternoon for Clemson cornerback Ray Ray McElrath Bay and his 11 year old brother Faymar. But the brother's situation is anything but typical. <laughs> Every decision I make, I got to know I'm making a decision for Faymar. Faymar first, me second. Ray Ray and Faymar's mother, Tanya, has battled drug addiction for most of her adult life. When I first seen my mother actually do drugs, it was um, a kind of enlightenment period. I really didn't understand it for what it was, but I knew it wasn't good. I feel very sad about it because, like, most moms don't do that and leave their kids at home. So that's how I feel. Ray Ray and Famar rarely see their father. In August, with Tanya once again using drugs and unable to care for Famar, 19-year-old Ray Ray made a decision. 
he requested and was granted legal custody of his 11-year-old brother. It turned to a permanent situation simply because I knew that although I might not be the, the best solution, I was pretty much the only solution. You know what? Yeah, because, because there's like a 303 and 331. In only a month, Ray Ray has had to learn how to juggle being a student athlete and a parent. That was some things I had learned on the, on the fly. Knowing not just to ask the brother questions, I got to ask the parent questions. The brother questions might be, okay, what you do at school today? Little simple questions. And then uh, the parent questions might be, um, okay, how you feel about living here? What's the hardest thing about living with your older brother? Waking up in the morning. But you get to do that anyway. Yeah, but he wake me up at 6. You don't like that? What's the best thing about living with your older brother? Getting to stay with him and play around and getting to go to the games and practice. The entire Clemson community has rallied to help the brothers. A trust fund for FAMAR has been established with special permission from the NCAA, and the Clemson coaching staff has embraced Ray Ray's new responsibilities. He is so much better off with his brother being here. He's just not worried about it. He's able to concentrate on school and, and the football issues so much better. And it's really been, I guess, good for our team because they've taken him in. After school, volunteers make sure Faymar is dropped off at Clemson's athletic complex, where he finishes his homework in an empty office. From there, it's off to the field, where Faymar has become a fixture at Tiger practice. Ow. And an unofficial member of the team. I don't got to worry about me disappearing or anything. And there was times I had to worry about where I was going to eat or where I was going to sleep at. He don't, have, he don't have that problem. <laughs> it's great to see how the Tigers have helped raise Famar. He's such a part of the program now. They've actually got a defensive formation named after him. And when the Tigers didn't run it all that well against Boston College, Famar had some words for him. Much more in this story outside the lines, 3.30 Eastern time on Tuesday. Gives you a reason to watch and root for number nine for the Tigers tonight as they travel to Florida State.